Good morning, lovelies. Welcome back. Today I wanted to show you Lila. Lila is one of my latest journals. It is a bohemian style quilted journal cover with a uh, some planning and junk style and journaling inserts. I wanted to show you this journal because I've had some people asking me about my journals and how they could go about getting one and so this is one of my latest ones and I will have this in my Etsy store for as long as it is in there. <laughs> uh, so today I'm just going to do a quick flip through of Lila and show you the different features of this journal and you can see it is the textures are amazing within this cover. You have some sort of wool blends and some sheer fabrics with little pearl accents that were on them. You have some small gold sequins throughout. The back is amazing. Pardon my little strings. Uh, the raw edge on here really gives it a nice feel. And again, the little pearl accents within this fabric. It has been quilted and so it does add some uh, stabilization with this cover. So even though it is a soft cover, it's pretty durable. It comes with a tassel that has uh, some different yarns and uh, some small bead accents on those yarns. This tassel does just clip onto the top elastic so you can remove that if, uh, if it gets in your way. Just thought it added a little bit of character to her. There's also a charm that I made with a bohemian style bead that's made with the same fabrics of, as the cover. An old earring that we found at an estate sale. And of course a key because, you know, keys go with everything. It is just clipped to this cover and so you can take that off. You can move it within anywhere on the journal cover. You can clip it to some of the fabric tabs on your inserts or you can take it off and use it somewhere else. All right, doing a quick flip through of this journal. It is held together with an elastic closure like uh, a lot of the travel style notebooks. Uh, and so that just swings over. We're going to open Lila up and show you the inside cover. Lila has three um, planning inserts at the beginning. The first thing you'll find is a fold out folder with some blank coffee stained pages that can be removed. They're just held in with an elastic. And so when you use these pages up or if you want to replace them with a small thinner notebook, you can just slide them out and put something new in. It does have a full size pocket on the inside of this folder. And it has uh, a full size pocket there and a smaller tuck pocket there. Also, I didn't want to forget it does have this pocket on the front cover of this folder. This is one larger piece that extends to the back. So on the back you have a small pocket here and again the full page pocket, sorry, uh, on the back. This does slide right underneath all of your inserts and the elastics as one piece. And so that can be taken out and used and then put back in or you can just leave it in. We will begin with the three monthly inserts at the beginning. Each one is slightly different and you can see this book is decorated but not heavily decorated. It does sort of have a theme to it. I used some digital scans of a Virginia map on one of the inserts. So you can see that there. And that's the back of that insert. And then one of the inserts has an old, uh, where are you? Here we go. 
a digital scan of um, a Daily Press front cover from 1918, which I thought was just amazing. Uh, it talks about uh, different things that were going on in 1918, which is kind of fun to look back and, and see those things. So let's start with the monthly planners, and I will try to be quick with this. Uh, each one does have a card stock cover, so it does add some stability to the insert and makes it easier to replace the inserts when you're done with them. There are plenty of blank spaces to use for journaling, and each one of the monthly planners has a blank calendar uh, spread for the beginning of the month. It comes with a week at a glance page and a uh, check spot for things that are coming up in the next couple of months that you want to keep in mind while you are working in your current month. Again, some blank pages, just some really cool fold out cards where you can journal or paste some pictures there. There's some envelopes that create good spaces for receipts and business cards pictures, all different kinds of ways you can use that. And each one of the three monthly uh, inserts have five weeks of uh, a weekly spread where you are working within your week. It's Monday through Sunday with some to-do space and goals, some note space, and plenty of journaling space which I like to write down, uh, sorry, write down the highlights of your week. Uh, sometimes I'll draw pictures and sometimes I'll print out pictures and put them there. So again, so many different ways you can use your weekly spreads. Everything was printed out on the coffee dyed paper. And these are just digital uh, PDF files that I created within Inkscape. So if you are familiar with Inkscape, you can make yourself some of these inserts and print them out. This is just a card that's held in by the elastic, so that can be removed. It's a great space for journaling, or you can send someone a note. All right, we're going to go through quickly this first insert anyway. This is the other half of that envelope, which creates a great pocket for notes. And you can see, usually at the end of each monthly insert, there's a couple of pages uh, for journaling or note taking. There's all different kinds of pockets. I included some of these vintage recipe cards, which you can journal on. Um, or use them for recipes, right? <laughs> this is the second uh, monthly insert for Lila. You'll see each one of the inserts do have this fabric tab. Uh, it's sort of like a wool feeling fabric tab. Just makes it easier to see from a side glance where your inserts begin. Again, this is printed on uh, cardstock, so it does add some stability. A small pocket there with a vintage postcard that is blank, so you can use that for journaling. This pocket was glued down to this page, and so you have a pocket uh, on behind this, and also this opens up to make a pocket. Again, another vintage recipe card. And much of the same each one. This is just a card that I stuck in there through the elastic. Now this is a great time to show you how your inserts are held in within this journal. I mentioned before there's a single run elastic, but that does give you two different elastics. One longer and one slightly shorter. Um, so the way if you've if you are unfamiliar with how the travel journals work with the elastics, there's a million different videos uh, that you can watch on YouTube. So just search that in and um, 
so many different ways and tutorials on how to use a single run elastic. This one, I'll just show you quickly. If you find that this middle insert, see there's three inserts here. This middle one is actually held in by the journal elastic itself. These other two, the one that's in front of it and the one that's behind it, are actually elastic together. You see that? How that spreads open? And then they are slid underneath of this middle one. And so there is some thought that needs to go in behind it. Which inserts do you want to come first? And the order of your inserts. And once you figure that out, you elastic them together and then put this in there. And like I said at the beginning of the video, there's so much room. You see all this extra room here? This allows for growth in the spine of this notebook. So you could add your own notebooks. Just open them up to the middle and slide them underneath this middle one. So that's how that works. Again, I might be a little bit confusing in how I showed that, so do a search on how to add inserts into a travel notebook. This is your third monthly signature. This is just a vintage playing card that I found. And all this stuff can be taken out if it's not for you. It's totally your journal or, you know, so it's I would say customize it and decorate it the way you want to. Uh, I just wanted to provide some different ways that you could do that. Of course, you could leave it in there too. This is, uh, again, another envelope. There's some tuck spots here. And again, into your monthly planner. All right. Next, we come to an insert that I created one for myself, and I said, you know what, there's a lot of crafters out there that would appreciate this. Uh, it is uh, all about your projects. And so uh, if you like to organize yourself like I do, you like to use this space to plan out your projects. And um, sometimes I plan out a project and it's quite some time before I get back to it. And so I take lots of notes especially when I'm watching videos and uh, there's things that I want to remember. And you know what? You can never seem to easily go back to those videos. And so I like to take notes while I'm watching. And so this insert is great for doing things like that. <laughs> this is your junk style journal insert and let's see where that begins and where it ends right here it has a pocket on the front and this insert is full of all different kinds of random pages and that's why i call it the junk style insert because there's coffee dyed paper there's graph paper there's aligned paper there's recipe paper random paper that's lined like that. Some blank music sheet paper. And these papers are so great for journaling, for making different kinds of lists. If you're a list maker like I am, these recipe papers are glad are really awesome to just keep in there just for looks. I like to look at these are really small recipes, which are right up my alley, <laughs> and they're neat and fun, but they also make great backgrounds for um, scrapbooking. So we will go through that, and that's what all of that is. Some ledger paper, a bag that you can put things into on the back of this insert. And then we come to the last insert, and this is all just blank coffee stained paper. And what a great insert this would make for taking notes, uh, for journaling, for sketching, all different ways you can use that. And again, you can add your own inserts to Lila. 
you can use these inserts or if like this Virginia theme isn't for you, you can cover that up. <laughs> so this is Lila. Again, I will show you some of the textures within this cover. And what she looks like from a side view and I'll try to put some still pictures in too somewhere within this video. And that's what she looks like. And you can see, again, that overhang, that gives you plenty of space within this spine to add to her. All right, you guys, I hope you've enjoyed my little flip through. If you have any questions, you can leave them down below in the comment section. And um, again, I will be listing Lila in my Etsy store. And so you'll find the link in the description box down below. Feel free to uh, comment and like and subscribe to my channel. I am a quilter. That is my passion and that is my trade. But I've used journals for quite some time now. And um, I've always made my own because I could never find one that worked exactly for me to plan and journal and note take and memory keep all in one. And so I've always made my own. And then I came across this uh, travel style where you can actually make your inserts and put them in. And so what a great way to keep everything together. Thanks again for watching, you guys, and stay tuned for future uh, journals. Have a great day.